is abhijit here and once again i am back with my new video so by the title of the video itself you must be clear that this is not something very stock specific it's just a general market discussion that we are going to have today right so we'll we'll cover we'll try to cover multiple stocks or multiple topics into this what happened during the day or mm, things like that right so if you remember yesterday which was 10th of november can you as you can see in the telegram channel i had clearly written and that too at 9:51 am in the morning that it stocks finally looking like some reversal on the cards right so now all of you must be thinking right that what uh, what was the thing which i saw which uh, i felt that it stocks which might be under some kind of a reversal so if you remember on 10th of november morning so we'll just uh, first try to analyze the nifty chart what happened on 10th of november so if you see on 10th of november which was yesterday we had opened gap down right so which is more like uh, the majority of the market it was showing a negative sentiment right so which uh, mostly means that most of the stocks especially the nifty 50 stocks they must they must be having some kind of a negative sentiment built up into this but this this is the time when the market is negative and if you see some of the stocks which are showing showing some kind of a traction some kind of a buying some different kind of buying those are the stocks which you should be looking forward to so that was the point if you look at nifty hourly chart even in the early morning the first hour itself was a big red candle you can clearly see this right the first hour itself was a big red candle that means there was clearly some kind of a selling going on and uh, we, which might have been for multiple reasons it might have been due to the uh, weekly options expiry or whatever is the reason but it was happening right so at that point of time i saw a couple of charts which caused which caught the fancy of my eyes the first one which i saw which was one of the very few stocks which was in green so if you see thursday first hour when the market was showing red candle in forces was showing a green candle so normally what happens is if you see on days like this that when one of the sectors perform or one of the big stocks of any sector performs you will see that uh, most of the stocks in that sector are performing it's like uh, if there is traction you will see the leaders in those sector performing very very nicely so when i saw this this which was completely opposite to what was happening in the market this clearly hinted that there was some kind of a strength or something which was happening in infosys or whatever so once i saw infosys it was but natural for me to check out tcs and when i open tcs same thing if you will see the same phenomenon there also that you saw buying there also so even in tcs while the market was going down there was some kind of buying going on in tcs and mind you these are good stocks these are big stocks which are index movers so when you see these things which is happening against the market normally on, on on normal days when you see like this most of the big stocks they take the direction of the index and i'm specifically talking about the stocks in the index but when you see such big stocks going against the general market trend then it it must ring your bell so that was the thing which happened that day and i saw infosys tcs then the next stock i or uh, because i already sent us watch list in the group so i uh, checked out hcl tech it was but natural for me to check 
and if you can see even this was showing a good traction in the first hour itself right then the next one lti LTI was one stock which was already in my watch list of, since last few days when I was uh, trying to uh, find out stocks for the community. So it was already in my watch list. What the reason was, if you can see it on the daily chart, it it had consolidated very nicely in this range here, and so and there was some kind of a movement which was about to happen, right? it was and it ha, it was moving out of this range right so it was already in my uh, buy list i was uh, or my trade list you can say so when i looked at this lti i saw another big move here also right and then of course these uh, then i looked at coforge even here also you'll see the same thing so these uh, four five stocks from the same sector if they are showing same thing going against the general market trend it was like uh, it was like a clear hint that something was happening there right so the thing is you don't need something very special to see the market you just need to have the right kind of eyes and you don't have to have a prejudiced mindset so see even in mind tree you can see the same thing right so it was a clear clear hint that somebody very smartly he was uh, uh, buying the it stocks which was against the general market trend not only this if you try to see the heat map for today you can see this one the technology services TCS was up 3.4%. This is this is the result for today. This was not of 10th November. This is the result today. So you can see how fast, how big these stocks have moved. You can see the movement that they gave today. So it was very, very clear that they were gaining traction. And now why IT? So if you, if you think about IT, IT is a... Uh, mm, one of those sectors which was the leader of the previous bull market and uh, many of the people they are already uh, stuck stuck in these stocks so you talk about infosys you talk about uh, tcs most of them and if you ask me honestly i am dead sure most of you must have bought these stocks somewhere around this region which was absolutely not the right point to buy right because if you see even a stock like infosys in the previous bull market it started to rally from somewhere around 700 right see I, I, not even 700 it started from somewhere around 500 and then went on to be a uh, like a uh, 1950 so a stock like infosys it went on to be a four bagger how how far do you expect it to go from there so uh, clearly there had to be some profit booking at that point of time and it has happened right and a uh, few days back I, it stocks had already started to gain some traction so but this is not the hint this is not the hint for clear reversal because there can be some traction there have been previous tractions also but after this there was some selling now this was the point which i wanted to see that the buying resumes here or maybe here or even lower right you can you can never tell so this thing the reversal an earlier reversal or rather say in a technical language if you see a higher bottom so you can get assured that okay now some things are turning in this sector and not only this if you see or if you understand patterns a bit so you will understand that uh, infosys is forming some kind of a rounded type of bottom you can call it double bottom or something like this so एक चीज तो क्लियर है जो पहला एक घंटे का जो एक्शन था वट एवर हैपेंड इन द फर्स्ट आवर वो क्लियर कर चुका था कि कुछ तो होने वाला है इस सेक्टर में बाकी उसके बाद क्या हुआ इफ यू सी आई जस्ट शो यू आई जस्ट सिंस दिस इज मोस्टली 
कनेक्टेड टू द यू एस मार्केट सो इफ यू सी जैसे हम लोग डाउ जोन्स को देखते हैं एक बार राइट right? सो so, डाउ जोन्स का चार्ट अगर हम लोग देखते हैं तो डाउ जोन्स इफ यू सी इट हैड ऑलरेडी मूव्ड मैसिव रिकवरी फ्रॉम 28,700 टू 33,700 इट वाज लाइक अ 5,000 पॉइंट रिकवरी लेकिन अगर आप जाकर के नसदक का चार्ट देखें इफ यू गो एंड सी नसदक चार्ट सो यू विल सी That Nasdaq has still not found that kind of attraction. एक बड़ी buying हुई थी कुछ time पहले there was some kind of a buying. And if you understand, Nasdaq is mostly composed of IT stocks. So normally what happens if Nasdaq tries to reverse or it gives a good reversal, then there are even better chances of reversal in the IT stocks, right? so that is what happened yesterday after our market close there was some kind of a data release by the cpi inflation data or whatever it is so that resulted in nasdaq giving a big rally if you consider it from the close of that day from 10700 to 11700 it was like a, a 600 600 right so somewhere around 6 or 7% rally in a single day from previous day's close which is not not a small rally by any standards okay so if you consider the it stocks indian it stocks they have still not moved and once again i'll make it very very clear दीज आई टी स्टॉक्स नो वेयर आई एम एडवाइजिंग यू दैट अभी इसको खरीद लीजिए अभी यहाँ से ये वापस से मल्टी बैगर बनने वाला है नो आई एम नॉट सेंग दैट एंड आई विल नॉट से दैट यू माइट सी गुड रिवर्सल्स यू माइट सी सम काइंड ऑफ अ रैली बट आई वुड नॉट एक्सपेक्ट दीज स्टॉक्स टू बी मल्टी बैगर्स अगेन इन एटलीस्ट नेक्स्ट टू और थ्री ईयर्स आई वुड एक्सपेक्ट दीज स्टॉक्स टू कंसोलिडेट for 2 or 3 years not very decent you you can have decent uh, returns of something like 10 20 30% 30% 40% uh, in 2 or 3 years but uh, more than that uh, like what happened in the previous cycle in the previous bull run wo nahi main expect karunga ki yahan pe hoga right so don't uh, think Uh, that you will get big returns but yeah these are blue chip companies so if you have to park your money it's always better to park your money in these stocks at these good levels uh, even it can give you better returns compared to your fixed deposits right so this was all about it there was nothing very big in these reversals and then the biggest mover today was hdfc and hdfc bank and there was no surprise as we already had that we already had those stocks day day before yesterday so there was uh, nothing very intelligent into that we'll just try to see if you if you just keep an open eye a uh, neutral view you will see charts in ways uh, which you have not dreamt just keep the simplicity of the chart alive so if you see on your screen you can see the chart of hdfc to so, hdfc ka chart agar dhyan se dekhe aap log to if you can see this red line there was this red line i'll make it even bolder i'll just uh, draw a zone this was the zone jisko hdfc cross nahi kar pa raha tha right and if you remember i had given a clear warning on this day right that something is happening in hdfc this was the day when the merger news of hdfc or hdfc bank wo announce hua tha and uske baad and media was writing everything good uh, everything which was good about these two stocks right so but if this was if everything was good why was somebody selling it so relentlessly that it fell from 1720 to straight away till 1520 200 fall in a stock like 200 rupees fall in a stock like hdfc which is very very huge wo chhota nahi mante hum log kisi standard se to definitely koi bahut hi smart money tha jisne ye stock ko becha tha so that was 
definitely not the point to buy the stocks but still i am pretty sure some of you might have got stuck in these stocks uh, at those levels but after a good consolidation now finally jab ye level ke upar aane laga hdfc and you can see stark similarities between hdfc and hdfc bank so this is the chart of hdfc bank and if you look at the chart of hdfc aapko ek tam hi similar pattern nazar aayega जहाँ पे आपको दिखेगा कि ये एक लेवल है जिसको पार करना उसको बहुत मुश्किल हो रहा था राइट एंड सेम मर्जर का न्यूज था एंड इट स्टार्टेड टू फॉल फ्रॉम 2933 नाइन थ्री थ्री टू एंड इट फेल टू लाइक टू ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड इन लाइक इन लाइक स्पेस ऑफ टू थ्री डेज सो अगर न्यूज इतनी अच्छी थी तो कौन बेच रहा था आखिर ये आपको सोचना पड़ेगा एंड दिस वॉज द एग्जैक्ट थिंग इफ यू रिकॉल द कमेंट्री ऑफ दैट डे इट वॉज आई बिलीव इट वॉज समवेयर अराउंड इन अप्रैल सो अगर इतना अच्छा न्यूज था देन वाई समबडी वॉज सेलिंग राइट सो वॉट एवर बी द रीजन दैट फेज इज नाउ पास एंड फाइनली यू सॉ दैट एच डी एफ सी वॉज नॉकिंग एट दिस लेवल एंड अगेन इट वॉज फॉर्मिंग हायर बॉटम्स कंटिन्यूसली तो अब लग रहा था कि ये निकल जाएगा सो so, एक बार ये सप्लाई टूटा तो आप देख सकते हैं कितना अच्छा मूव मिला एंड ये मूव मूव ही नहीं मिला अगर आप इसको वॉल्यूम देखें तो यू कैन सी ह्यूज ह्यूज वॉल्यूम हीयर राइट सो फाइनली सम वॉल्यूम इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजिंग तो ये अच्छा न्यूज है तो एच डी एफ सी और एच डी एफ सी बैंक अभी भी अच्छा है बाई करने के लिए हाँ बट अभी मैं आपको बाई करने नहीं बोलूँगा सम हाउ एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इट कम्स बैक टू दस लेवल ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड इफ यू आर लकी इनफ देन इट्स फाइन और एक बार एक छोटा सा करेक्शन आने दीजिए इसमें तो फिर हम लोग बाई कर सकते हैं क्योंकि अभी अब ये एक बार कंसोलिडेट किया है तो फिर इट इट कैन गिव यू अ गुड मूव इट कैन डेफिनेटली गिव यू अ गुड मूव या अगेन बट आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट इट विल गो ऑन टू बी अ मल्टी बैगर इन वन और टू ईयर और थ्री इयर्स बट या इट कैन अगेन गिव यू डिसेंट रिटर्न इन टू और थ्री इयर्स यू हैव टू गिव और इन्वेस्ट गुड अमाउंट ऑफ मनी देन दिस शुड बी द स्टॉक वेर यू कैन इन्वेस्ट योर मनी सो आई होप गाइज यू लाइक द वीडियो and uh, you like today's analysis and the reason behind what was the trades or whatever we took so if you like the video do share with your friends like our youtube channel and do subscribe to it i'll try to make i'll try to be more regular with my videos as, as and when i uh, find time for it thank you friends have a good day ahead have a great weekend ahead bye bye see you